Good return, only a 44-yard field now as it's second down and eight. And Papa, quick pressure up the middle. And he's hit and he is down. Big Papa is hurt. This does not look good. He is grabbing his shoulder. The trainer's coming out. And that was just a free shot at the quarterback. I hope he's all right. Logan Cannon in the game now for this third down and eight play. The Raiders lost their starting quarterback last week and the game to the San Diego Chargers in overtime by a score of 19 to 16. Patrick Papa Giannopoulos suffered a shoulder tear and will miss at least the next two games. And rookie quarterback out of Iowa State, Logan Cannon, will step up and fill in his place. He was drafted in the third round because of the injury concerns surrounding Big Papa, and now it's Cannon's time. Back deep to return for the Raiders is Curtis Dozier and DeRay Ray after Taiwan Jones was cut this past week. And Dozier fields a kick and goes up the right side. A flag is down and the Raiders will be called for holding and they'll back up to begin this first drive. And here is Logan Cannon. Last week in relief, 11 of 14, 81 yards and his first career touchdown pass. On first and 10, he hands the ball off to Darren McFadden who can't find any running room but does manage three yards. Now on second and seven, and Cannon drops back to throw. Clean pocket, good protection. Fires outside, hits A.J. Ray, and that's good for about 25 yards. Now out of the single back, Cannon turns around, hands off to Darren McFadden. He goes up the middle, running through defenders, and gets a first down carry. Still operating out of the single back set as Cannon, delayed handoff, it's taken by McFadden. Right side, cuts outside, and he jukes back to the inside and avoids Bernard Pollard. First down, a gain of 21 yards. Let's take one more look at that. A quick spin move, cuts to the outside, nice juke, and McFadden's off to a great start this year. Already over 600 yards on the year for Darren McFadden on the ground. Cannon the throw on first and 10. He dumps it off to his tight end, Brandon Myers, for seven yards. And for the first time, LeGarrette Blunt enters the game as he was signed last week after the cut of Taiwan Jones. This handoff goes to DeRay Ray, tries to go outside and gets a gain of seven. Now third and one, Ray in the game, and Cannon floats it his way out of the backfield, makes the catch, first down inside the 15, chains move. Now a four wide set, Cannon, quick pass outside, caught by Dyeran Orr, spin move inside the five, touchdown! Cannon's first two touchdown passes and Dyeran Orr's first two touchdown receptions are both from their Iowa State teammates, both in this rookie class, and were drafted back to back in the third round. 7-0 Raiders, impressive first drive as a starter for Logan Cannon, but now it's Joe Flacco's turn, second down and 10. Quick pass to Anquan Bolden over the middle for a 12-yard first down. Bolden in motion again, and Flacco will throw, looking Anquan's way again, breaks a tackle, breaks two, and Bolden has a first down. Two nice catches by Bolden, and now a handoff to Ray Rice, trying to go outside, spin move, avoids Rolando McLean, and a first down carry for Ray Rice. Flacco enters this game with six touchdown passes and one interception. Third down and nine, he avoids the sack. Floats it deep and it's almost intercepted by Brandon Browner. Oakland football eye formation for Cannon. He turns around, hands off to McFadden. Up the middle, a gain of five chains move. Now twin tight ends and two wide. Pitta and Myers the tight ends and Cannon to throw over the middle. Caught by Dennis Pitta, that's good for nine yards. Third and inches, trying to extend the drive. I formation, McFadden takes the handoff, and he will get the first down just barely off the right edge. First and 10, two receivers left for Logan Cannon. He drops back, clean pocket to throw, fires it long. It's hauled in by Denarius Moore. Outrunning Bernard Pollard inside the five. Touchdown! Cannon's third touchdown pass in his career. Second this game, and Denarius Moore turns a deep slant into a touchdown. 43 yards roughly after the catch as he burns Bernard Pollard and gets the rookie quarterback another touchdown under his belt. 58 yards from Denarius Moore. We're seeing some of those flashes realized that we saw in preseason and Logan Cannon has the Raiders out to a 14-0 lead and the Ravens now look to answer and a nice catch here by Ray Rice goes for 20 yards. First down and 10, Flacco fakes the handoff to Rice and throws to Scove. First down into Raiders territory as the Ravens look to answer back and get some points. Now at the 35 yard line on the edge of field goal range and Flacco's pass is in traffic dropped by Scove. 
On second down, they'll tighten up the formation in the offset eye. Fake the handoff again to Ray Rice. And Torrey Smith makes the catch over the middle. And he'll break a tackle. It'll be taken down by Branch after 19 yards. Trips left now for Flacco. Ray Rice to his left. And Flacco looking to throw. Doesn't like what he sees, so he looks to run. And Tyson Alualu takes it down for a short gain of one. Third and seven now for Joe Flacco. Will the drive stay alive? Pass middle, caught by Bolden. Trying to power his way. He's very close, but the Raiders held their ground. 14-3, Raiders ball now. Cannon counterplay right side. McFadden going outside, breaks a tackle, hit and fumbles. And it's recovered by Terrell Suggs at the 25. Inside the 10, taken down by A.J. Ray and company at the 6. And here's McFadden's Achilles heel holding on to the football. It was Bernard Pollard laying the devastating shot. Now it's Falcons football. Handoff Ray Rice. Left side on the weak side. That's good for maybe two or three yards. Offset eye formation. Vontae Leach leading the way. Handoff Ray Rice. Cuts back to the inside. Touchdown Ravens as they make this a 14-10 game. Just a shade under five minutes to play in the second quarter. Cannon the Raiders looking to answer back after that turnover and this pass is caught by Myers outside and he gets 12. Now I formation back to McFadden. Hold on to the football. Outside, great block by Myers. First down as Pollard can't force this one free. Three wide for Cannon now as he drops back. Pressure picked up and Denarius Moore makes the catch over the middle again. First down. Denarius has been great since the return from his injury and he'll try to block on the outside for McFadden and McFadden will go and get nine yards. Second down and 12, two tight ends, two receivers and a blitz from Baltimore that's picked up. But Cannon off that right side, he's hit by McPhee and he'll be sacked and loses the football but the Raiders do hang on and there's the pressure one more time. But Cannon is known for his durability. Third down and 20, and the Raiders will just run the football and lose two yards and concede with the field goal. 17 to 10, the Raiders on top as the Ravens look to add some points before the half. 40 seconds to go, pass outside, cut by Torrey Smith, close to the 40 yard line, out of bounds. 38 seconds, Baltimore has one timeout remaining. Flacco's pass, cut by David Nelson, shakes a defender, and he's down at about midfield. Last play before the half. Flacco on fourth down, just going to throw it long. He unloads the deep ball. End zone. Intercepted. Tyvon Branch. He'll go down in the end zone. And the Raiders will go into the half with a seven-point lead. 17-10. Successful so far. And his first start is Logan Cannon. And can he get his first win in the second half? We'll find out next. Ravens have the ball here at the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome back to Oakland from the 20-yard line. Handoff to Ray Rice trying to go outside, and McLean wraps him up after a short gain of three, and Rice now is down. Joseph Adai in the game for Rice's place, and Flacco does a screen to Joseph Adai, who breaks a tackle, picks up three blocks in the secondary, and he's in Raiders territory before Browner knocks him out of bounds. Already at the 42-yard line, Flacco slant caught Scove at the 31st down Baltimore. Now third and inches, can die get the job done here? And off weak side of this, Joseph Adai, balls out! Fumble, it's recovered by Tommy Kelly. The Raiders force a very key turnover, and Joseph Adai just lost the grip on the ball after Philip Wheeler had a very good opportunity and punched the football out. Raiders ball. Big turnover, and now it's Raiders football as Cannon drops back. And his ninth pass attempt is caught by A.J. Ray, and he is a solid 9 for 9 today. Perfect so far with 153 yards. Second and 11, 7 minutes to play in the third quarter. Cannon, and the blitz is picked up nicely, and he floats it to Denarius Moore for a gain of 6 underneath. Now three wide on third and five. Logan Cannon fires quickly, and it's caught by A.J. Ray on the outside in front of Ladarius Webb. First and 10 from the 39-yard line. Two receivers right, two tight ends left, and Cannon floats it for McFadden. Gets a block from Pitta, and McFadden in the open space across the 20, inside the 10. Touchdown, Oakland. That was all McFadden after the catch, and there was plenty of green. You can see Cannon just barely in the throw out. McFadden makes a catch at about the 40-yard line, and he appears to be favoring kind of his right side there. And I'm not sure if he's injured or anything, but Cannon has his third touchdown pass. 24 to 10. Oakland with some exciting offense today as Baltimore now has the rebound after a fumble of their own. And Joseph Adai does get this nice first down carry. 
Leach still in the game getting a lot of play and Andre takes the handoff and goes up the right side for a gain of 10. And I'm not sure if we'll see Ray Rice anymore today. That would be a critical hit to Baltimore's offense. Flacco out to Dunn and he's got a first down now in Raiders territory. Good answer so far for Flacco in the offense as they look to get some points on this drive. Slant caught Torrey Smith look over the speed but Pat Lee takes him down from behind. Now in the red zone at the 19 yard line Joe Flacco Plenty of time, no pass rush from Oakland, and he throws it long, and Andre drops the touchdown! That was six points right there. Missed opportunity, now it's third and seven, and a handoff to Joseph Adai, four yards, questionable play call. 24 to 13, Baltimore answers with a field goal, and the Raiders have an 11 point lead. Cannon off the play action, open is Myers, and he's got a first down to the 46 yard line, 19 yard pass. Cannon has been excellent today and perfect in the air. And on first and ten, he has to hold on and take the sack from Haloti Nada. Welcome to the NFL, rookie. Now it's third down and 12. Cannon hit from behind by Terrell Suggs. And his pass floats incomplete. The first incompletion on the day. And Terrell Suggs almost had a sack of his own there. The Raiders punt and it's Baltimore football here in the fourth quarter. Nine minutes to play. Joe Flacco in the pocket. Excellent protection. And Scove is wide open. Just shy of the 30-yard line. First down catch. Ray Rice has returned to the game. They're going screen on first and ten. But Flacco can't get the throw off. And he's sacked by Lamar Houston. He has a sack in every game. Eight sacks on the year for Lamar. They go screen again. This time it's caught by Rice. Breaks a tackle. And he stays in bounds. Working the sideline. Gain of nine. Still third down and 12. Pivotal down for the Ravens. Screen again. Caught by Rice. Third screen in the row. Broken tackle. Ray Rice. Power running. Just determined to get the first down. A little over six minutes to play here from the Coliseum. And Baltimore goes screen again. Like a broken record, it's Ray Rice. And he gets another first down. Oakland has to start covering these screens. First and ten. This time no screen as Flacco middle. Cut by Dunn. Outrunning McLean inside the 20. Down at the 16-yard line. Man in motion. Handoff to Joseph Adai. Outside. Breaks a tackle. First down in the gain of ten. Now David Nelson in motion and Flacco to throw on second and goal. In the pocket, avoiding the rush, but taken down for the sack. And Flacco now is hurt. Jack Crawford sacked him and Flacco appears to be down. Here's the sack one more time as Michael Orr got beat. Flacco is going to stay in the game. Third and goal, handoff to Ray Rice. It's four down territory, a gain of two. And now fourth and goal. Baltimore will settle for the field goal to make it a one score game. And that kick is up and good, 24 to 16. With three timeouts, Baltimore has to stop the Raiders here. Handoff McFadden outside, looking for that first down. He gets nine yards. And now McFadden is down and hurt, and it's third and one. DeRay Ray in the game now, not LeGarrette Blunt. High formation behind Logan Cannon. One minute, 56 seconds to play. And Cannon hands off outside, and Ray is hit in the backfield. And the Ravens hold on defense. Excellent job. The Ravens have the football down by eight. One minute, 41 seconds to go. Two timeouts from their own 33-yard line. Flacco middle, caught by Torrey Smith, and he's down to the 48. Gain of 15 by Smith. Now Flacco on second and 10. Under pressure, throws it long, and it's knocked away by McLean. Good pass defense. Third down and 10. Four wide for Joe Flacco. In the pocket, moving to his right. And now he throws it long, looking for Scove, who makes the catch. Ravens down to the 17. Here's the deep throw. McLean was in good position, but Flacco threw it where Scove just stopped. And it's a first down. Now inside the 20, under a minute to play. Flacco to throw. Flag flies in. Pass inside the five. Caught by Tandon at the two. But the flag is going to be holding on the Ravens, and they'll back up 10 yards. Now at the 27 instead of the one yard line. First and 10, Flacco. And he's sacked, and the flag is down again. Holding on the Ravens. Back to back plays. It's not looking good for the Ravens now. First and 30 from the 37 yard line. They need a touchdown in the two point conversion. Flacco outside. And that is caught by Armin Bins. A gain of 15. Third and 15 now from the 22 yard line. Two backs next to Flacco out of the shotgun. 
four-man rush. And Flacco unloads. Middle cut by Tannen Doss. Touchdown! Coming back to the football and broke a tackle. And Tandon Doss got the touchdown the Ravens desperately needed. And now for a two-point conversion. To tie the game at 24, Joe Flacco offset eye, an extra tight end in the game. Here it is, Flacco floats it, incomplete, no good. And the Raiders have held on, they have a two-point lead. Here is the play again, jump ball intended for Doss, and it was just overthrown. Now it's the onside kick, last chance for the Ravens, and it's hit by the Raiders, but it's recovered, it's LeGarrette Blunt. And that will seal the game, and the Raiders will get the victory. And there's the loose ball, everybody diving, and somehow LeGarrette Blunt picks it up. Whoa, it was scary towards the end, but Logan Cannon in his first start has the Raiders their fourth victory on the season. 24-22, a very exciting finish. The Ravens almost came back and tied the game, but the Raiders hold on and improve to 4-2. The Ravens fall to 3-2. A very impressive game for Cannon in his first start. Only one incompletion on the whole day. There wasn't very many negatives on his side. Three touchdown passes, a Raiders victory. Couldn't ask for a whole lot more. Next week, the Raiders will take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you in Week 7.